Hey y'all, it's day nine of the winter bulk at home workout series where basically I'm transforming my body. You're working out with me, so hopefully you transform your body. But yeah, we're transforming our body with just a pull-up bar and some push-ups. Also, this is day one of how to get abs in 30 days or less. Now, um, this is where we at right now. Obviously, I got a little chunk on me. Um, I haven't done abs in like three, three weeks, a month. But we starting this new series together where I'll show you how to get shredded abs, you know, six pack. Um, now, this obviously you want to not just depend on the workout. Like, this is going to give you the workout portion of it, right? We're going to get you right. We're going to get you the right exercises. We're going to make sure the intensity is there. Also, you're going, you're going to need to invest in yourself. Like, you can do this with your body weight, but for me, if you follow in this program, I have a little pull-up bar, but when we're doing as we going upstairs, you need a little yoga ball and a mat so you're not, like, hurting your back. But, yeah, so as far as the workouts go, you know, we're just going to be doing two rounds on an app. Uh, I would download six pack promise by jeff cavalier so you can do it on your own right it's only three bucks or if you wanted to follow along with me that's the app that i'm using to do these workouts so we're going to be doing two to three sets of that daily on top of the like pull-ups and push-ups i've been doing but yeah so this is the starting point hold up as i said how to get abs in 30 days or less okay how you get them, you just work them out every single day, you feel me? Doesn't matter when you do them in the morning, in the afternoon, before you go to sleep. Just gotta take it like your food, like your vitamins, like breathing. Like you breathe every day, I'm breathing right now, you breathing right now. All right, you gotta do abs every day. Abs is one of those muscles where you can train them every day, just like your legs. Not like um, OD, I don't want niggas to think they can just like OD your legs or whatever, but I'm saying, um, as far as, like, the, like, they can take the amount of volume that we're going to be giving them, but, yeah, this is my abs right now, I don't know, my body fat percentage, 175, here, you want to, let me bring the scale real quick, One seventy one point four, that's what it say. So now y'all got like my little weight for right now when we starting that. Um, give me a second. Oh uh, yeah, now. I'm about to get back my sweats. Um, yeah, I'm about to get back my sweats, and we're just gonna start this workout. Uh, right now, I'm starting with 100 pull-ups, uh, 200 shorty push-ups. Now, I haven't explained this. The reason I'm doing the shorty push-ups as opposed to full extensions is because I'm already beating up my joints like by doing 50 to 100 like regular pull-ups, and I'm I'm trying to get blood pumping to my chest like i'm trying to get it more full like i'm trying to i don't know if you notice toward the end of the sets like my body is looking more like full and it's because like 
the point, like when you're working out, obviously you tear your muscles, you want to, you know, grow, get it stronger, right? But you can also pump blood to like stimulate growth, you feel me? So that's what shoes is really good for. Like you just, in that short range of motion, just pumping, 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 feel me? So I got that from, I got that from my son, um, uh, my son Broly, Broly Games, my son Broly Games, shout out to you, feel me, do these. You know the vibes. It's actually because of them I even got on my calisthenics journey and been been in the pull ups like, cut like you can see even back when I was out of Tampa for a little bit like if you scroll through those videos like on a Bayshore Boulevard like doing them like I've been doing pull ups for a minute so shout out to them for getting me started and I don't know it's a it's a journey you gotta be consistent with it like you seen these nine days I've been consistent so if I do this for the next three sixty five like I could literally take this clip me doing like this place it to like the 365 version and then boom like you feel me so that's the point of this see a lot of transformation um as far as the abs like i say yo if you do these workouts all you're gonna need is a yoga ball a mat pull up bar and you know just your work ethic you feel me like it's gonna be tough it's not gonna be easy this is the app i'm talking about six pack promise athlete nights I like to shuffle and typically I go to the equipment. Now we're not going to do none of the chin up joints today because it's angles, but physio ball. And I usually do, so it says max level. Oh no, yeah, that's what I usually do. I thought it was uh, athlete. And I was going to say the highest level is an uh, athlete. All right, so how does that look like? You shuffle. Damn, this is nine minutes to just, you feel me? Hell right there. So, me, I usually do, I usually do four or five days because I do train four or five days out the week. And I feel like for me to do the athlete joint, I want to be for like, kind of see my list right now. Like, I, I got to cut that out. Like, I got to get, I'm also getting focused though. You feel me? This is the year to do that. So, um. What was I saying? Like, like, yeah, doing an athlete joint, I'd rather do that. Like, if I'm, if I'm wholly, like, you know, my diet's in check, my, my routine's in check, like, everything is just, like, and then the athlete is just, like, the cake on top. This, and I feel like sometimes this is a little harder. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, sometimes, feel me? But, yeah. So, let's see. I like this. We're gonna do three sets. Three sets of our athlete next when we get to it. It's been snowing. Um, I like that. Seven minutes of just straight talking. I like that. Uh, it's been it's been uh, snowing in my little neighborhood. So, y'all gonna see that up top. But, um, this is what we're going to do. This is going to be the first workout. First of three. So, boom. This is itinerary. 100. 200, upstairs, six pack comments three times. That's a good day. And then as far as how to get abs in, you know, 30 days or less, the workout that we do today is gonna be different every day. So we just gonna be going up there and doing two to three rounds of this every day for 30 days. That's how we're getting our six pack. Um, watch what you eat. My diet's pretty good. I mean, I could put you along what I'm eating, like probably throughout the week but honestly like i'm trying to get my diet in check so i can gain weight because for me it's never really been a training like i could train od i love training like feel me it actually it's like my form of meditation right um it's 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 the little things like like diet like i i cook well i cook od but it's like i'm a little older now i got some cheese like i'll be wanting to eat up feel me like uh, i, I want to have a good time um i don't know i guess getting on a plan tracking it i mean these are just bullshit excuses i'm not gonna lie like niggas should just come up with some structure so it's just like all right yo you eat this in the morning afternoon night do that but as soon as we lock in and get that in yo you're gonna be seeing that because we already like this is just me flat is a term they use in a bodybuilding community when you don't have a pump like how you just naturally are and I, i'm athletic i got a lot of athletic though for me i'll be working out but I'm not where, like, I know I need to be type shit, like, so that's what, that's what the workouts is for, but enough talking, it's been like 10 minutes, just straight talking, alright, let's get to it. Hey everybody!
everyone, welcome to the Bigger Pockets Podcast Network. I'm your host today, Dave Meyer, and we're going to be digging into the state of multifamily in 2024. And to talk about this really important topic, we're bringing on two of the best in the business. Honestly, these two investors are guys I've been following for you know? most of my career. They're people I look up to, and I promise you are going to learn a lot from each of them. The first is Matt Faircloth. You've probably heard him on this podcast before. He's been listening for a while. He's the owner of the DeRosa Group. He's a Bigger Pockets Boot Camp instructor. He wrote a book called Raising Private Capital and knows a ton about real estate investing. The other is Brian Burke, who is the president and CEO of Practice Capital. He has been investing for a long time, over 30 years and he has bought and sold over 4,000 multifamily units. So if you guys wanna learn about what's going on in the multifamily market, these two are the people you want to be listening to. And the reason we wanna talk about multifamily right now is because it's facing market conditions that are very different than a residential market. If you paid attention in 2023, the residential market was kind of flat. There wasn't a lot going on in terms of sales volumes, but things kind of chugged along and honestly outperformed a lot of expectations. But when you look at the multifamily market, things are very different. Prices have dropped anywhere from 10 to 20%, depending on where you are in the country. And this obviously creates risk for multifamily investors. But the question is, does it also create opportunity in 2024 to buy at a discount and get some great value? So that's what we're gonna jump into with Brian and Matt today. So with no further ado, let's bring them on. We are of course here today to talk about the multifamily market. And so Brian, I'd love just to have your summary, first of all, about what was going on in the multifamily market in 2023. Well, nothing good was going on in the multifamily market in 2023. Uh, you know, I, I always say that, uh, you know, there's a good time to buy, there's a good time to sell, and there's a good time to sit on the beach. And so this beach here in the background is just really a demonstration that I, uh, I, I live by what I say, and I actually put my money where my mouth is. Uh, there's really no reason to invest in real estate in 2023. It's just better to be on the beach or play golf, which is what I think I'm gonna do after I get done recording this podcast, uh, because uh, you know I'm not really paying that close of attention to uh, making acquisitions right now, because there's just no reason to. 2023, I think, was a year of challenge when you had uh, a bid ask spread between buyers and sellers. Yeah, where you could get on the same page. Uh, buyers so wanted to pay fit. less than sellers were willing to take, fit. and sellers wanted more than buyers were willing to pay. Stay and there was no bridge of that, uh, that impasse. And I, I don't think that 2024 is going to look much different, frankly. <laughs> Matt, what do you think? Would you concur? Well, you know, it, it, it's easy when you're Brian Burke. Uh, Don't be doing this hard work and just chill bullshit. And, like, feel uh, me? Uh, like, eat good. Anything. Make sure you yeah, hydrate, drink a ton of water. Do, make it's, sure it's you eat, like, a lot of fruit. Fruits is going to make your joints pop, like, on this next year. week. Um, but I'm going to probably pop some fruits. Um, was too far apart actually, nah, it's a Monday. You could probably go cut fruits later today. I'll probably go do that later today, cut some fruits and chill mix. Those were they were targeting those kinds of deals, uh, and, and it got them likely. Over we, the we all eat different uh, things. Like, I'm not going to like, like eat what you like, things, right? Eat what you like. Just down, make, uh, make sure it's healthy. You know, like I'm pretty sure we all eat chicken. We all eat steak. I'm not sure Brian uh, disagrees with me on that one. We all cook it a certain way, right? So it's apex, and it's tough to eat that right? And so now we're on our way back. I'm African. We really see 2023. That's my base for like. All my meals, a lot of things like, around, and I got, really got literally like city. two 25 pound bags of rice out of state. It's like I eat it in one sitting. Like, shit, last week, couple months, other but, people were you know, properties so I eat both rice, and this didn't make sense. This didn't make I eat out, like recently I've been eating out, but I'm not advising to eat out though, because those calories are different, and they sit in your stomach differently. Like, the other morning, I told you I stepped out or whatever, I had a the other one or two that stepped out, I had in, um, what's it called? I don't remember using this one, but. But nah, yeah, just make sure, just make sure y'all eating good, y'all. Feel me? 
funny, bro. It's been 15 minutes. 15 minutes and y'all just chill with me. I haven't even worked out yet. Y'all like me like that? I like you if you like me like that, feel me? Comment if you feel me, if you like me like that. Because I like you if you like me like that. Pause, bro. But, feel me? We all here getting ready. I'm going to start working out, guys. I'm going to start filming. Um, if you remember, we had a we had a pact to disagree with one another. So I'll start it off this time. Uh, I'm going to disagree with Matt's 2023 calling the top. I think the top was actually in 2022. Uh, and so, you know, we started selling in 2021 okay, and continued selling into the early part of 2022. And then I think the market started to fall. So... Depending on my mood on my day, sometimes I could do the podcast, sometimes I could do a Twitter live spaces, I could do another YouTube video. My head's booming just a little bit, so I feel like music would be a good, a good uh, I'm just starting my day, feel me, that's why I be looking fake, like my head don't be looking done and done, it's like I just, I wake up and I'm like, alright, we gotta do our pull-ups, push-ups, abs, and then start my day, feel me, so... I go brush my teeth, handle my business in the bathroom, and then boom, you guys is here, feel me, and then uh, I go about my day. And then it's uncut. When I get better at editing, you know, you're going to be seeing my little reels and how I'm going to cut up the video. Like, that how to get abs is going to be my first, not attempt at editing, because y'all seen me edit like before, but getting back into like editing my own videos, cutting it, it's just trying to, feel me? Cause it's uncut is cool, it's live, it's it's more like me, it's like feel me, it's how I am. You know what I mean? Like you feel like there's no cuss edits, whatever, like I'm just being you know, just keeping it chill, so Yeah. Well, I'll play some music. When I pop, you looking for who? I'm outside here looking for me. I'll be outside with one of my G. Like, bowing out, I'll make a Three, five, we like this. Hey, matter of fact, we'll do a quick little review of the of the free S style this album right here. We'll do a quick little review. So I'ma just play every song in order. I'm 
been pulling it work. Fully not team and I bet that it work. Go say they got it, like, go say they got it, no nigga on first. Put the V up in pump, after I throw, but you better not swerve. Don't, don't gotta say what you got, not on space, I'm trying to hit a nerve. I can get live on no thought, stop trying to lie me, that should be the worst. What do I do a shot, like, he's trying to reach for it first. Nah, I think it's only got history, that's why I watch it, can't let him get to me. Big G2 taking over like, Big G2 taking over like Hillary. Low I thought she's not feeling me, I watch Nazi turn into a memory. He's trying to push him for a man, you kidding me. Yo, Lil Tyler had a new game. I like that new game, Bayin' Fast. Came out with a single. I do what I do to make them jealous. I've been 
bitch tryna act brand new. Let me just take off the plastic, go see the mud, sweat. Ran through me, rough gut, breaking her mattress, shaking her ass. You know I'm a handle, throwing it back. You know I'm a smack it, I like a lamp. So, candle, and still splits, I ain't talking gymnastics. Cat say, how do you know I'm gonna blast it? Just like what? You wanna crash it? Well, she playing Nikki. Oh, you feel tree? She fuck on my cars and I play all that trash. The candy girl pour, he just songs to the past. Four times, did you see me? You know I get active. I know what's up, you cat and you're rapping. You know my bob, I just get some good money beat. Please, stop trying to troll me. Never did nothing to me and my homies. Say that you on it, just come and show me. Get off my dick, cause you really don't know. Now I'm back to that hip shit. Got good ass, I waste my bony. Bitch, listen, close it. Hands me and knees, you say it real slowly. Take up the pace now, watch how I jiggle. Let's go, watch how I wiggle. Get out the way, let me get in the middle. Hit from the back while I play with her nipple. My head too long, make a booty on tickle. But see that she little, she taking the pickle. She know I'm on court, I'm not trying to dribble. I seen one nigga and I threw more than triple. We in a V, she holding my blick, she took it all safety. Think that she slick. I told her that shit got a kick, but you way too pretty, I don't want you to click. Shop got a ladder, came with a stick, pull that right there, no time to pick. Cops pull us over, they think they gon' frisk. Just come in my belt, cause I'm taking that risk. Free bitch tryna act brand new, let me just take off the plastic. No she the mud, slut, ran through me, her gut, breaking her mattress, shaking her ass. You know I'm a handle, throwing it back, you know I'm a smack it, I like a light. So, candle, and she still splits, I ain't talking gymnastics. Cat say, how do you know I'm gon' blast it? Just like what? You want my crash? Well, she playing Nikki. Oh, you feel tree? She fuck on my car, tryna play with that trash. The candy girl point, he just songs with a pass. What time did you see me? You know I get active. I know what's up. You can't be a rapper. You know my bob, I just get sent to... Salido, Joey Boombox, Frankie Forget About It, Richie. Anybody know why Richie did Bobby yeah, Luco? I got a couple of them for real. Sammy Sausalito, Joey Boombox, Frankie Forget About It, Richie. Anybody know why Richie did Bobby Luco? You know, you know, this fucking thing is bogged out over there. Who you listen to? Some washed up rappers from New York? Nobody drives around no more and smokes pot and listens to fucking everything. Music like that. They wanna go nuts. They wanna go to strip club. They wanna fucking see girls dancing on poles, open up their boxes. Wanna be shot? It's a big shot. Menzi Gorsh. King of Legs. They love it. Last strip club I went to, forget it. The fucking girl. She goes, she goes, oh, I can't wait for my song to come on. I took in the back for his, for last dance. We were fucking having the best time. That song twerk came on. The girl went bananas. So I grabbed my bra jaw, grabbed my titties. I banged her, I swear to God. I banged the shit out of her. Yeah, all right. You didn't bang up. Yeah, I did. That song makes girls want to bang. Bada boom, bada bang. This song is supposed to play that. That actually. It's so anticlimactic, bro. I'm for love. I got a couple of things for real. I got to go with the same source. Yeah, all right. You didn't bang up. Yeah, I did. That song makes girls want to bang. <laughs> bada boom, bada bang. Hey, what's up, bro? Because I don't know what they're talking about. You need to smoke it. I mean, I showed y'all that it's live and uncut. That kind of got me hot, but like, anyway. This is that old French. I really did listen to French Montana heavy when I was young. Um, I liked his freestyle on Cosmic Kev. This man Cheese, Chinks, for me. They snapped on that joint. Um, I'm only gonna play like one or two songs from this and I'm gonna get current. But 
I just wanted to show some love amongst my friends. What's that story you explain yourself, though? <laughs> Feel me, but I could listen to that dream all day. I'm gonna play the last 30 seconds and let the song go. I got a couple of them for real. They look like they love it. Last like, strip club I went to, forget it. The fucking girl, she goes, she goes, oh, I can't wait for my song to come on. I took him in the back for his, for lap dance. I forgot one of them I did. I think I last time I took him in the 50s. So when the twerk came one. on, the girl went bananas. Mm. So I was wearing my bar Joe. 20 minutes in that 60. I yeah. banged her, I swear to God. I banged the shit out of her. Yeah, right. I didn't bang nothing. Yeah, I did. That song makes girls want to bang. Bada boom, bada bang. Cause I don't know what it's about. Niggas smoking out of all our ass. Eight, eight coops like Carla. I'll be getting eight stars on the floor. You need the fan of Rose. Flip work, coming back like their bros. You don't call me, I'm a coach.
Cause they know you gonna get the show. You made it. I'ma just do my time. Come on. Don't be trying to spend it. 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 Don
catch up, bro, ball and shit. He buys magic. Like now she was gonna be my Valentine. Better look next year. Why he call this red and this big blue? Watch me set you. Why she only good for head and cooking? Why she tilted? Why she drop the farm with my knee cut? Roll the wood up. For they close to catch it, fix my fingers, throw the hood up. Oh my, oh my goodness, he took my swag for good work. I gotta keep that wood to that boy, my only good look. You know what's all the love go? I'm feeling like Snoopy Shug now. All this shit here personally use, they act like it's a drug, but we been fucking hood up. No way, no killer gut to Came up out this lunch, but next house gonna have a bullet. Now you heard love tugs, now they swing your shit like nothing to Three hoes on me at once, this shit like Alvin and shit, man. Right now, it's lines on my ass, I ain't do shit. Say thanks to my guys, all y'all niggas who wanna hit Trina. Yeah, all the niggas feel stuff. Tell them where you got it from. I need something to fight today. I need roses to fight today. I ain't even out of competition, nigga. I blow your budget. I'm the fuck that see the Kobe Bryant use the Michael Rose and this is not a fire drill, nigga. I want a motherfucker grandma. This is not a fire drill. Basically done, y'all. You know, that's 80. To let y'all like, know.
Please do not think that I'm lacking. Finny pack, but it ain't for the fashion. Boy, make a movie, gon' clap them. Uh, shooters with me, and know they ain't acting. I told my bitch all the ratchet. Uh, move it if he's like you finna blast it. I ain't got time to be flexing and capping. These niggas must think I'm really just rapping. No, I won't trip out of anger. Shooters with me, they won't put me in danger. Leave you shoot like he a Laker. I trish and I think I might take her. Bust up a TV and stack it. Demon with me, I might run with cracking. He make a movie, gon' crack him. Then it made back, I was such no action. I'm getting hella bands. We show whoever think they're tired of bands. Obviously, try to get like 10 straight, but like it's you know toward the end of it, so it's a little tougher. And the slower I do it, is the more time on attention. Feel me? And that time on attention is what stimulates the, the muscle to grow. Feel me? Makes it twitch, pumps a little more blood into it. Like I'm building that mind muscle connection. Like I'm over there, I'm really focused on like all right. I'm, I'm using. I'm not on the other grips, right? Like I'm engaging my lats. Sometimes when I switch out, like I'm engaging my biceps, but um, this one specifically in my eye, I'm, I'm pulling up my, my tries, like my tries is the one that's like pulling me up. So. 10 more, 20 shorty push ups, and we on the roof. It's break, so I don't know if y'all gonna see me in my show up or fail, but definitely gonna see the, the workout. My 
shoes and I like fighting. They like Mike Tyson. So fighting. I'm gonna go home fighting. I stopped this plane, you know when it was giving up I gave him a chance, I got me some bank roll And some niggas start switching up, they was really my man Stay with the shooter with me And you know how we give it up If I give him the glitch I get bullshit with me, I heard she give it up For a couple of bands And I see they wanna be me, but none of them niggas can do what I can I would make them every like they did this And all of my dummies is doing the dance Niggas fake, I ain't shaking their hands I need the bag on the way when I land She play her part. Hey, presidential road, he got elected. They don't even respect it. And you see, it's only forces around me. You cannot come in this section. No, we carried away by the necklace. This shit that ended real hectic. The way my brody start throwing bullets, he don't throw no interceptions. I stuck to the plan, even when it was giving up. I gave it a chance, I got me some bankrolls. And some niggas start switching up. They was really my man, stay with the shooter with me. And you know how we give it up. If I give him the glance, I get bougie with me. I heard she give it up. For
That's a hundred. Hundred pulls. Um, take a hundred pulls. Two hundred shorty push ups. I'm about to go grab a glass of water real quick. And then we're both fun upstairs. So after Adam, I'm going to go grab a glass of water real quick. And then we're Enjoy this little intermission. If you're liking what you're seeing, uh, make sure to subscribe for more videos like this. Uh, comment if you're actually doing the workouts or not, or you know what do you like about it. Anything you think I should switch up, add uh, any comments. Uh, yeah, but just make sure to like the video, subscribe, share with somebody that needs to change your body, needs some extra motivation. So, or that wants to join this challenge, right? Because the more it fits, that's the real workout. Like this, it's just my vitamins. I do that every day. But the abs, that's the one, you know. Go on, so. Enjoy the seven minutes, I'll be back. Like, comment, subscribe. Penthouse, Times Square, free Broadway, sitting reminiscing me and tangle in the hallway. 
free my brother, I've been thinking about him all day. Couple racks and commissary, it's the small thing. Get some racks and niggas scary, how do they all change? I was broken, I was feeling for some ball mates. Shit changed once I got up in the ball game. Now my wrist blame, cause that money coming no ways. Niggas foul that we pulling up from long range. Wipe me down, shorty, like it on the ball, man. Couple thou getting all these bitches on it. It's just a fling, I'll be right out by the morning. Alright, abs is definitely meant to be. Um, I can always get through the first set, and typically because sometimes I tell myself to be three, I can get through the second set. So usually like the last couple reps of the second set that might be tough. And sometimes when I when I put that three goal, it's like for some reason the third set is just like, just like I mean I'm not gonna say it's a bully because like I get through that too, and oh my god, the euphoria I feel after I complete that third set, like I'm already trying to fill in it now, so. I feel like today's gonna be easier, especially given that it's day one and I gotta show some motivation for y'all. But that was all to say, like I gotta have a certain song or playlist or something I'm listening to to you keep my mind off the pain. <laughs> like, feel me? Like, cause all it is is just doing the reps. Like, obviously, like when I'm doing it, like my intention is literally like on on like the muscle. Like even when I'm doing my pull-ups, it's on the muscle. Like I'm just trying to activate it. Like I'm. I'm trying to connect to it. I'm trying to like feel it grow. I'm trying to see how it moves. See how see how like I can get it to work for me. You feel me? Like and like the pull ups. I mean, you see the the pull ups is, is making my lats go crazy. Like I'm already getting that shredded lip, and I haven't been doing obliques. I haven't been doing no type of side joints. You feel me? So you are gonna see what our ab work looks like, but I think it's gotta get my mind right. Of uh, investors that were every investors that were everyday people invest investors that were everyday people like me you know I, I heard of you know um, uh, PE teachers and a mother of five that uh, was also working a full time job etc that were able to go out there and build these real estate portfolios using proven strategies that have been repeated over and over again. I didn't have to reinvent the wheel. Welcome millionaires and future millionaires. You're listening to the Millionaires Unveiled podcast, a show where you'll hear the stories and interviews of everyday millionaires. Yeah, this is uncut, so I'm sorry. I'm on my phone. I try to be better about that throughout the video, but like, it's uncut. <sighs> Welcome back to another episode of the Millionaire Without Podcast. This is episode number 341. Stay. Try to get a nice ring. Alright. Let's go get an average. How's it going? It's going well. Doing great. Living 
a good week. Ready for it to warm up at some point, but other than freezing here in Texas, we're doing great. I know. I know it is a little chilly, but we probably can't complain that much because we only have a few weeks of this and that's it. That's our winter. We have four seasons, contrary to popular belief. It's just uh, typically spring, summer, fall, Our kids all said not take a winter because they walk out the door in shorts and t-shirts and then complain about me freezing, despite me suggesting very strongly every time we leave the house that they need to
Me and Rafe just getting into the interview with Sean. Sean, do you want to just give a little about your background and what you're up to now? Yeah, sure. Ten seconds left. Um, I started out, uh, I grew up in Louisville, Kentucky, joined the Navy while I was in college, uh, came out to San Diego, California. Physio ball corkscrews for 30 seconds. Begin in five, four, three, two, one. While I had that job, I was making really good money. I felt like I had my dream job, but I was also working six days a week, really grinding hours as an air traffic controller. And I wanted to start investing my money to try and get out of that or, you know, just start building my wealth in some way. And long story short, I got started to get obsessed with real estate investing after I listened to the Bigger Pockets podcast like five or six years ago. Ten seconds left. And just it, a lot of things started clicking in my head and had a lot of light bulb moments of kind of understanding the direction I wanted to go with uh, real estate. Physio ball alternating toe touch for 30 seconds. Begin in five, four, three. Two, one. Friends, uh, fellow investors, um, which was a 32 unit apartment. Um, I basically dumped all my time and energy into real estate. I uh, started a real estate podcast, a local real estate meetup, and just kind of really uh, became obsessed in every way and eat, sleep, and breathe real estate. Um, flash, forward, flash forward several years, and I now. 10 seconds left. Um, multi-family apartment units, uh, own a hotel that I'm actually selling and close on tomorrow, but still currently own a hotel. And, uh, 30 seconds rest. Uh, I've sold some properties as well, but now I am here today uh, talking to you guys, and so far it's been a really great journey. Nice. And I want to get into the details, especially on the, the location of the 401k to get into real estate, but before we do, what's your net worth today? Uh, net worth today is around 3.5 million. I took about a million dollar hit over the past year, though, due to property values. Ten property seconds values. left. Still super ahead, so it's pretty good. Hey, million dollar loss on paper, which we haven't had on the show, and I'm, I'm, I'm glad you're open to admit that. Physio ball skier crunch for 30 seconds. Begin in five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, it doesn't really change my perspective at all. This is all like, these are things that I basically expected. The good news is, is like, you know, while, I, while my net worth took a big hit because, you know, across my commercial real estate portfolio, it, it's largely due to, you know, capitalization rates decompressing, as they say, in the apartment investing world. My investments were all still performing well. You know, Ten seconds left. But we were like, you know, we had hit home run grand slams if we would have sold like a year and a half ago or a year ago. Physio ball levitation crunches for 30 seconds. Begin in five, four, three, two, one. Um, and I fully expect the, the interest rates to go back down eventually. You know, who knows when? But when they do, that will only increase my net worth back up. Yeah, for sure. So at this point, is it all in real estate? It's 100% in real estate. I have no other investments outside of real estate now. Okay. Yeah. And, and as a real estate investor, how do you think about liquidity? keeping cash on hand. 10 seconds left. Absolutely, it's actually extremely important to me. And for a number of reasons, uh, in, in the commercial real estate world, when you're, you know, investing in commercial real estate. ball stirs for 30 seconds. Begin in five, four, three, two, one. I have, a, I have to have a collective liquidity of 10% of the loan amount. career that made me realize the importance of having even more liquidity and i'll give you an example 10 seconds left investment, which was a 32 unit apartment in greenwood indiana which we ended up crushing it on we ran out of money um to continue to change directions in five four three two one money to complete the business plan and get out of that hole which we were lucky to find a private investor that let us borrow two hundred thousand dollars. But those kind of experiences made me realize why the bank requires you to have that liquidity. Because if things go wrong, you know you can you'll always have contingency capital that you build in, which I you know have a lot of extra contingency capital. Ten seconds left. Experiences, but if 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 something goes severely wrong and there needs to be a gap that's filled, that's why the bank wants you to have liquidity. Congratulations, you've completed today's workout. As like the last ditch resort, if I needed to make up the difference to, for me and my investors. And is there a percentage?
percentage that you try to keep, or is it just kind of ebb and flow a little bit based on you know, what your feel score looks like and what the cash flow looks like on a month to month basis? How do you think about that? I mean, if there's not a percentage that I'm going to keep, uh, like for so on top, I always have at least 20 to 30 percent contingency capital for each property, and then my personal liquidity, I don't like then do like, for example, another 10 or 20 percent for each property because then I would have like way too much money in cash in the bank that could be earning me money. Generally, I just have a rule of thumb of a couple hundred thousand dollars. I have a certain dollar amount that I know would not only be able to carry me if things go wrong and pay for my living expenses, but most kind of issues that could come up in real estate, you know, like uh, something uh, large damages happen. I've even had a dam that was holding up a pond at one of my properties uh, start to fail and that was a hundred thousand dollar fix. So I've just, you know, my, me personally, if I have a couple hundred thousand dollars and something goes wrong on one or two of my properties, that's a really big deal, then I can cover it. Interesting. So let's walk back just to, to the beginning of a little bit of this, liquidating the 401k. Walk us through that. Did you pay the penalty? Welcome to Six Pack Promise. Today's workout will require the following pieces of equipment. A physio ball. Physio ball knee tucks for 60 seconds. Begin in five, four, three, two, one. So uh, when COVID started, as if some of the people out there listening don't know, they removed the 10% penalty that you have to pay if you were to withdraw from your 401k. And in addition to that, you can pay your um, uh, taxes over a three year period. And so I was due during COVID to allow myself to do that. Uh, so I didn't have to pay that. And um, I used that to invest in my first real estate deal. And uh, it was only $78,000. So it wasn't a substantial like amount, like a crazy amount of money. Um, but I 30 seconds left with that money to pull that money together and go buy a 32 unit apartment. So for me, you know, I was able to pay the taxes over a three year period instead of all at once. Um, and without the penalties, it just made total sense for me to do it then and there. And just because for a lot of reasons, I, I believe in real estate a lot more than I do. Okay, okay so Sean, take me back. 10 seconds left. Okay, you're working as an air traffic controller. You've got what you described earlier as, as one of your dream jobs, dream scenarios. Physio ball around the world for 30 seconds. Begin in five, four, three, two, one. How did that transpire in your mind? Well, the decision to like liquidate that 401k and really get into real estate investing, it was a series of, yeah, bigger pockets episodes because I started listening and hearing story after story of investors that were everyday people like me. You know, I, I heard of, you know, um, uh, PE teachers and a mother of five that uh, 10 seconds left job, etc that were able to go out there and build these real estate portfolios using proven strategies that have been repeated over and over again i didn't have to leave them physio ball alternating toe touch for 30 seconds begin in five four three two one it was all into my 401k i mean i was maxing it out for several years actually uh, maxing out my contribution but what i realized is it, what I really started to understand was the cash flow benefits of real estate and the tax benefits of real estate. And when I thought about, like, you know, I studied 401ks, you know, 4% withdrawal rates, et cetera. You, 10 you, seconds you, left. And some of the things that didn't make sense to me and, and put real estate above that for me was the fact that 401ks are nothing but a nest egg, right? You're investing. 30 in seconds rest. Closer to retirement, you're likely moving that more into bonds and things that are less risky. But at the end of the day, when you're going to start withdrawing from that, you're literally selling off shares. And the idea is you're going to withdraw that and, uh, and withdraw from that and sell those shares at a rate to where you will outlive uh, or you're you won't uh, uh, run out of money before you die. Ten seconds left. And the difference with real estate is if I build up a real estate portfolio over this entire time that's putting cash in my pocket every single month, over time, I'm actually getting richer. Physio ball corkscrews for 30 seconds. Begin in five, four, three, two, one. It, it's, 
able to maintain itself. But over time, your net worth is decreasing with a 401k as you're withdrawing. The exact opposite is true with real estate. If I'm cash flowing on a property 500 bucks a month right now, in 20 years, that will easily be cash flowing double that, if not more. And if that trend continues over time, my cash flow increases over time, the appreciation increases over time, the list goes on and on. And 10 seconds left. I can pass that wealth on to the next generation if I so choose to. Whereas, you know, that's much harder to do with a 401k because you're probably withdrawing. Physio ball levitation crunches for 30 seconds. Begin in five, four, three, two, one. Back and choose what I do with my time. If I wanted to expedite that and do that quickly, maxing out my 401k wasn't going to do it. I needed to do something more drastic. Physio ball levitation crunches for 30 seconds. Begin in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Definitely, they make sense for a lot of people. Uh, for me, it didn't make sense. And, you know, I was drawn to real estate and it, it works and it's working still. So I love real estate. I, I just think it's way more superior. Okay, Sean, I'm gonna press you on something because we hear this a lot. You're young, you're crushing real estate. This, the concept of, you know, re, well, 10 seconds left. To mm -hmm. potentially pass on the benefits of real estate and appreciation to the next generation over five, six decades. Physio ball stirs for 60 seconds. Begin in five, four, three, two, one. In five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, like the tax strategies, you know, doing the bonus, the accelerated depreciation, and being able to write off most of that income every single year. I mean, I've seen it happen. I've past two years, I've paid basically no tax. Um, the ability to keep acquiring new properties to do more, uh, use that depreciation on the previous properties I bought. All of these tax strategies are alive and well, and I've seen them work. Thanks for sharing. You've gone from being an air traffic controller to a real estate traffic controller. And yeah, I, when I first read your spreadsheet and how you had liquidated your 401 30 seconds I left. To ask if you regret it, but I don't need to ask that anymore because you said, right? <laughs> you're confident in the strategy. I'm here for it. I'm absolutely. And like, I, I don't mean to like also like bash 401ks for everyone because I think they do make sense. And to be clear, a lot of things went my way. I timed the market really well. It's not like I'm not over here saying I'm 10 seconds left. And none of the strategies that I've used were invented by me or anything like that. I, I copied what other people have done. Um, and it could have gone the other way. Like on that very Congratulations. You've completed today's workout. The business plan. Now, I ended up doing really well and tripling that investment actually. And a lot of that had to do with the timing of the market. Um, it had to do with the fact that I was able to find somebody to lend me that money. And I learned from those mistakes and it, it, it helped me be the investor that I am today. But I could be just as well have lost that money and things didn't go well and I lost all that 401k that I pulled out. There are risks associated with real estate. Uh, in particular, if you're you know, if you don't have somebody with you that's seasoned to teach you things. So those mistakes happened before I had a mentor. So I always recommend anyone that wants to, you know, try to replicate this kind of success, find somebody that's really successful and replicate what they did. Um, but yeah, like I will freely admit that it could have gone very wrong and I could have lost everything and had to restart. Welcome to Six Pack Promise. Today's workout will require the following pieces of equipment. No equipment required for this workout. 
figure eights for 60 seconds. Begin in five, four, three, two, one. At that time, I did not have my first condo that I lived in yet. I would say my net worth was probably below $100,000. And how long did it take you to get your first million? To get my first million dollars, it took me about two years. Um, and that was because, you know, me and my business partners raised a bunch of money from investors, went and bought, you know, some larger apartment complexes with my mentor, you know, 150 unit complexes. And we, within a, a year of buying those complexes, we had already renovated a ton of units and got 30 seconds left and it just ballooned the value of those assets. So for example, we bought one of those properties at $12.7 million with our investors. And today, even with the high interest rates, it's valued at $20.5 million. And so obviously a lot of that profit goes to the investors and then I'm splitting it with a lot of other people involved in the deal. But within two years, 10 seconds left, those properties and implementing that business plan, my net worth skyrocketed. How were you even involved in that first transaction when your own personal net worth was so much Cross half planks for 60 seconds. Begin in five, four, three, two, one. Loans. The bank wants the people signing on that loan to have a combined net worth equal to or greater than the loan amount, and then obviously that 10% liquidity that I mentioned. So in order to meet that, I partnered with five other people, two other air traffic controllers that invested a lot more money than me, and then three other guys, uh, you know, that were either one other coworker and two guys we met at the real estate meetup that we hosted. And our combined net worth were equal, were able to meet that amount. And same thing with all the other metrics, the post closed liquidity, um, and one guy that we brought on to the deal actually was a guest. 30 seconds left. He had done multiple apartment complexes before and he played a smaller role, but his uh, experience combined with everyone else's money was able to win us the loan from the bank. So I definitely would not have been able to do that like by myself, like having a, doing a joint venture with partners was how I was able to get that accomplished. What gave you the confidence to dive? 10 seconds left. <sighs> particularly in a better state than we were living in. Yeah, right. You know, to get that confidence, I it, it was the amount of studying that I had done with to be fair, you can 30 seconds rest. And nothing there's never going to be enough that will prepare you to actually doing deals and not making mistakes, in my opinion. Like, there, you, you're always going to learn more from the School of Hard Knocks, and I did. But I really felt confident because I had other partners that had done some, uh, done one other partner that had done real estate deals like that before, and several other partners that we could all, we were all putting our heads together. Ten seconds left. Confident that I wasn't doing this alone, that it was less likely that I would make a bunch of mistakes if I had all of these heads coming together. So, I think that's my 21 crunch for 60 seconds. Begin in five, four, three, two, one. Podcasts I've listened to. But I think at the end of the day, the partnerships are what made me feel super confident. Are you also an agent on your deals? No. And most of the, all the deals that we do, uh, you know, real estate agents don't uh, transact these kind of deals. These are commercial real estate brokers. So, you know, guys that have people that have had a lot more experience and have a higher qualification. But yeah, I had no interest in getting that accolade. It doesn't really help with the business at all, especially since, you know, when you're doing the commercial uh, size properties, like it's not like, uh, you know, the 30 seconds left. Buying and selling representative agents get to like split a commission. That doesn't happen with uh, commercial real estate, so I wouldn't have gotten like a benefit there, you know, by getting some money back to me or anything like that. Sure. And how many Airbnbs or smaller rental properties do you have? So I have four Airbnbs or smaller rental properties um, that are all like high. Ten seconds left. All have been doing awesome. I'm still a believer in Airbnb if you do it right. Uh, but outside of that, the rest of them are via partnerships and raising money and with my investors. Crunch and twist for 60 seconds. Begin in five, four, three, two, one. In North Carolina, we had 32 units in Greenwood, Indiana, but sold that last year. We have uh, a hotel, a uh, boutique hotel that's on the coastline up in Northern California that we're actually selling and should close hopefully tomorrow. And then I have an Airbnb in Indiana, one in Louisville, Kentucky, and then two here in San Diego. So not, oh, excuse me, and then we also have one more newer project here in San Diego that's in Ocean Beach that is a single family home where we're adding nine units to it. So it's going to be a 10 unit apartment complex when it's done, which is, I guess, a good way for me to tell you guys about like that strategy. 30 seconds left. Focusing exclusively on San Diego. Let's dive into that because it's such a hard market in California because uh, generating income as an investor is, is really challenging.
housing with uh, with cost of living and, and cost of property. Absolutely, and that's one of the primary reasons why I was never interested in investing here. Ten seconds left. That's largely been out of state, but that all changed when San Diego changed their municipal code to allow for this new strategy that. Recliner elbow to knee tucks for 60 seconds. Begin in five, four, three, two, one. But essentially, you know, California started this because they have a unique problem of needing to increase density. And but the zoning laws around California make it difficult to do that. And there's a lack of buildable land. So they put this law in to essentially allow people to do basically up to two additional units that they can add to any single family home and skirt around a lot of the other traditional development laws and rules and faster purging, things like that. Well, San Diego took that a step further because San Diego has a unique problem. So for context, San Diego has the least... 30 seconds left. ...country next to Miami. It's geographically constrained by the ocean to the west. You got Mexico to the south. Mountainous terrain to the east is expensive to build on and then Camp Pendleton military base to the north. All of the flat buildable land has been taken. So there's basically no vacant land for them to continue building new housing. And most of the city is- 10 seconds left. You combine that with the fact that San Diego uh, is a growing market. So you've got a lot of people moving. San Diego is one of the top destinations for people leaving the Bay Area. 30 seconds rest. The biotech hub in the nation. And so job growth has been exponential in San Diego, and it's become the most competitive rental market in California and one of the most competitive in the city. On average, 17 people are competing for the same apartment unit. Shopify is the e-commerce platform, platform revolutionizing millions of businesses worldwide. Whether you're a garage entrepreneur or IPO ready, Shopify. 10 seconds left. Run and grow your business without the struggle. Shopify puts you in control of every sales channel. So whether you're selling satin sheets from Shopify's Tuck planks opposite side for 30 seconds. Begin in five, four, three, two, one. That's converting checkout to help you turn them from browsers into buyers. What I love about Shopify is no matter how big you want to grow, Shopify gives you everything you need to take control of your business and take it to the next level. Sign up for your $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash unveil. That's all lower code. Go to shopify.com unveil. 10 seconds left. Shopify.com slash unveil. And thanks to Shopify supporting for supporting today's episode. Congratulations, you've completed today's workout. Density, and so they've taken the ADU laws in California and they made their own program called the Bonus ADU program. So essentially you can add an unlimited number of these accessory dwelling units to a property so long as it's in certain sections of like they have what they call the transit priority area. But basically there's a map, certain areas, you can add an unlimited number of these ADUs up to the four area ratio of the lot. So in essence, where a single family home existed before, you can put a 10 unit, 20 unit, I've even seen 30 and 40 unit apartment complexes. And so this strategy kind of blew the lid off of my kind of perception of investing here in Southern California because we can build these units for on average around $200,000 per apartment unit. But they sell on average for $450,000 or more per door. On top of that, I'm not inheriting tenants that might be old bad tenants um, where I can't kick them out in California. I get to place my own tenants. And since I have a new product, um, I'm getting a better tenant with better paying jobs. And then finally, because I've been talking for a long time, I know, the other, one of the main reasons why I love this strategy is because I'm able to buy an existing house that I can rent out and produce income while I'm waiting for my